We assembled the bargaining team and we uh, began to put together the negotiating points for our next contract. Our first meeting with uh, the county bargaining team really wasn't a good one. They brought in over 360 changes to the existing MOU and their basic line to everything that we offered was no. That went on for three and a half years. I had people in my department say, hey, we need somebody that, that's willing to, to tell what our, our department's concerns are regarding waste resources. And, and that's where the union, uh, SCIU 721, they wanted people from each department so that everybody's represented. The initial county team was just as big as us. The county came to us with a totally whole new contract. I mean, totally different. Several days a week, uh, weekends, many, many days and nights over at the Union Hall and uh, at the County Administration Center talking about elements of the contract that we were hoping would inspire the county to reach across and, and shake our hand and make a deal. Actually, I was kind of shocked about the approach that the county and uh, our elected officials took towards the workers of our community and the union members. Very arduous, very uh, difficult. They basically came in hard-nosed, disregarded all the work we've done, said we were wasting the county's time. They were going to take away your step increases by directly taking money out of your pocket, which they did. They did it for a year. First we went, went on strike. It did a lot to invigorate our bargaining base, but the county was intent on saying no and imposing. The county said, okay, that's it. No more listening to you. We're going to uh, impose. That's when I guess we sort of seen the true colors of the Board of Supervisors. I think the county seen a writing on a the wall. They didn't move one inch. Is the county really that broke? And if it is, then why they're spending $45 million on KPMG or some other millions of dollars on Huron? We knew right away that we were in for a fight. And we just looked at each other and said, this is the way they want to do it, then let's just take it to the end. And that's what we did. Social service workers, uh, nurses, uh, everybody who works for the county, I find, it's hard workers. We love what we do. We stayed at it for three and a half years just to show what SEIU 721 is really about. We're about the community and the people who work and live there. Coworkers where I work, man, they appreciate the fact that not just me, but the team members and the organizers and the union, we didn't just go for a lie the deal. We heard them and they said we'd rather go through the process and get a fair contract. Well, I was driven to fight for my fellow worker even more than I would probably fight for myself. I think it's the appropriate TA for the next four years. I'm gonna vote yes on it. My message is stand up for your family. Vote yes.